Hello, hello miners, Rusty coming at you. Today we're going to take a look at a trapper. This is a whiskey bent trapper and I found this at a local store actually but I've been seeing them on Amazon. So they're from the whiskey bent hat company and the whiskey bent hats I think are a couple of guys down in Texas and yeah, make hats maybe some uh, shirts and that kind of stuff. I'm guessing this is the WB11-08. It's marked 440. And on Amazon, they're marking it. They're saying it's 440C. I don't think that it is. Um, I don't remember what cover we got, but it is acrylic. And I don't know. Yeah, they're just kind of like lay down the decoration. Looks like some paper. Uh, and then put acrylic on there, put your badge in there, the WB, and put her together with pins. Transitions are nice. Springs, we got a little bit of gappage going on here. Tangs meet up pretty nicely. Steel liners, no half stop, a decent snap. Probably about a five, five and a half. A little gritty. This one's about a four and a half. We got a spade blade. So uh, for those of you who are new to my, or new, I know, to uh, traditional knives, um, there's a pole on the knives, and the pole is going to be measured on a scale of one to ten, uh, with five being right in the middle, obviously. And on the, then a lot of people, you're going to like a stronger pole. Generally means you have a stronger spring, which means your blade tends to stay locked a little better. So you want, and you hear that snap. Whoop, let me fix it. Sorry about that guys, I got a broken tripod. So it's a bipod with a broken leg and um, not balancing real well. So um, anyways, I'm doing a lot of trapper comparisons in the upcoming days. And I'm going to be comparing it to the classic case. Now, a real classic case is going to have yellow Del Delrin uh, handles and chrome vanadium steel. But when I saw this one, it's black synthetic. It's 44 bucks. Uh, Shepherd Hills cutlery, I want to say. They got a great selection of case knives. Uh, the yellow was... $54, $10 more, and we all missed out on the CV steel. Uh, so Case used to have their own blend of chrome vanadium steel, and now you may get it, or you may get plain old 1095, which is still a steel we're pr pretty, plenty happy with. Um, just for collectability, if you can get a CV, I'm noticing that they are a bit more expensive okay so how do they compare case is kind of the you know i would say the king if you will of these and oh i forgot to say yeah something like 35 to 40 my local store actually had it at 24 dollars and if i gave them my phone number uh I saved 20%. So I got it for 20 bucks at my local store. I didn't even believe that they would have these in stock. So take a peek at that. This is definitely much stronger, like a, a better spring. The case has that feel. Nice snap when you open it up. Lighter pull. Oh, but this has what they call match strike nail nicks i guess the idea is you can strike a match off of them why you'd want to i don't know so close these up and take a peek case has brass liners but they're very similar in size very similar in construction uh, case is just put together a little better Better materials, the carbon steel would be a preference over the 440, although this is stainless and this will rust. It'll patina over time, 
you need to take care of it. But for now, that's the review on the Whiskey Bent Trapper. I'm going to put it in the description if I can find out what it's called, uh, where to get them and stuff like that. Because they do have a lot of different uh, decorations or what we call covers. Uh, so they make the same knife. They sell it to you 12 different ways by putting different covers on it. And you'll find out we end up buying them. We buy many of them. So collect. All right, guys. Thanks for joining the miner.